hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have 7 to the power of k minus 6 to the power of k is equals to 13 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here uh, first you see that uh, here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to uh, uh, divide both of the sides by 6 to the power of k okay uh, so here when we divide each of these terms by 6 to the power of k it will be written as 7 to the power of k divided by 6 to the power of k minus 1 is equals to 13 divided by 6 to the power of k and now here further you see that uh, in the first term uh, we apply here the nice uh, exponential rule uh, you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m it is equals to a divided by b and its whole power is m so uh, it means that we need to combine the exponent of these two terms and after combine this exponent it will be written as 7 divided by 6 and its whole power is k minus 1 is equals to 13 to the power of uh, 13 divided by 6 to the power of k so here we need to focus uh, on these two exponential terms and here you see that uh, first we for, uh, we discuss a uh, 7 over 6 to the power of k so here uh, we conclude about that uh, 7 over 6 to the power of k is increasing function uh, okay it is increasing uh, when whenever our x is increasing it means that when uh, we increase our this uh, sorry when we increase our k this exponent k this complete function becomes increasing okay so when k is increasing then whole function is increasing similarly uh, and also you know that if 7 over 6 to the power of k is increasing function and uh, when we subtract 1 from increasing function it remains increasing function it, so it means that uh, our left hand side is increasing function okay so this side becomes here increasing function and here we need to focus on uh, 13 divided by 6 to the power of k uh, so here we uh, just say that 13 divided by 6 to the power of k is a uh, decreasing function okay uh, whenever our uh, our k is increasing it means that uh, if uh, in the in that case uh, we choose the exponent k is increasing then our left hand side becomes increasing function and our right hand side becomes decreasing function because here you see that uh, uh, 6 to the power of k is in lies in the denominator okay uh, uh, so here we see that uh, the right hand side becomes decreasing we write it here this is the decreasing function and our left hand side becomes an increasing function so it means that when we uh, draw the graph of both of these two functions then you see here so the graph of uh, increasing function uh, is uh, looks like in this form okay because it is increasing form and uh, the right hand side is decreasing it means that uh, the right hand side will be looks like in downside so it means that if one side is increasing and one side is decreasing it means that both of these two sides are intersect at one point so this point is called the solution of our given equation okay so here we need to find uh, that point so in order to find this point uh, here uh, we need to copy down a uh, given question statement here uh, so this is 7 to the power of k minus 6 to the power of k is equals to 13 so here we find uh, this point uh, by inspection uh, here uh, when we substitute k is equals to 1 Okay, when we choose k equals to 1 then this will be written as 7 minus 6 is equals to 13 or not 7 minus 6 becomes 1 is equals to 13 and you see here 1 is not equals to 13 it is a not possible case okay it is not possible that 1 is equals to 13 and similarly here 
uh, we choose k equals to 2 or we check at k equals to 2 so when you put k equals to 2 here it will becomes 7 square minus 6 square equals to 13 and 7 square becomes 49 minus 6 square becomes 36 is equals to 13 and here you clearly see that 13 equals to 13 this means that k equals to 2 is satisfied over uh, this given question statement uh, so uh, it's uh, finally conclude that uh, this point uh, which is the point of intersection of increasing and decreasing function so the value of uh, this point is equals to uh, so it is k equals to 2 so this is uh, the point of intersection or this point of intersection uh, is called the solution set of the given equation now, so here we finally conclude about that the solution set of this problem is k is equals to 2. So this is the only one real positive solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.